Uh, hi, Jamie. Can you explain to me that 2012 was a very good year for your company, Autocore. Uh, can you explain this a little bit more in detail? Definitely, yes. It's been a, a very, very interesting year for Adacore, um, notably because of the approval of the latest version of the Ada programming language, mm -hmm. which is Ada 2012. So that has generated a lot of interest from a lot of industries and a lot of programmers in the Ada programming language, which is good for Ada Core. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, with the inclusion of features such as contract-based programming, um, increasing the expressiveness of the language, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, in, in, uh, uh, making better support for concurrency, mm -hmm. uh, a multi-core, uh, and enhancing uh, the containers. Um, we've, we've, we've seen a great interest, uh, especially in markets where safety and security are very, very mm -hmm. important. Mm -hmm. um, from a uh, customer point of view, um, mm -hmm. the fact that we've introduced support for uh, endianness and portability mm -hmm. has been very interesting because uh, of course that then allows um, portability between big endianness and small endianness microprocessors mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, such as the PowerPC and x86 mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and that's something in the aerospace uh, and defense uh, yeah, yeah. industries that's uh, of great interest so it's mm -hmm, been a, mm -hmm. a very very good year. Yeah. Uh, the f f you said uh, military and aerospace. Uh, for me, ADA is a language, programming language typically for these uh, markets. But That's you right. said uh, all other markets are also uh, yes. for you, where security um, and safety is. That's right. Um, I mean, what we're seeing in our traditional markets is that security is becoming much more important. Mm -hmm. um, so the application must not fail, mm -hmm. but also the application must not be compromised. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what we're seeing from, from other markets, uh, less traditional markets for ADA, is an interest in reliability, mm -hmm. robustness, uh, and of course ADA has many answers for that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, for example, in the rail industry, mm -hmm. uh, the energy, yeah, yeah. Uh, but even uh, interest from the automotive mm -hmm. uh, and industries, as I say, yeah, where we yeah, haven't yeah. seen much ADA penetration. Mm -hmm. Does it mean you have to integrate some special features or functions for these markets? We're looking at what we can do. Okay. Um, clearly they have different requirements, different mm -hmm. specifications from the markets we're used to working with. Um, and a lot of them work with different processes. Mm -hmm. um, so one of the things we're announcing at this year's Embedded World is our support for the mm -hmm. ARM, micropro uh, ARM microprocessor. Yeah. Um, and we've had a lot of interest in that. We've had a lot of people stopping by the booth, mm -hmm. asking mm -hmm. questions, asking which flavors of ARM we'll be supporting. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, they're interested in getting the the, ge the generic qualities of ADA mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and using them on uh, a That's small a, uh, a small memory uh, uh, yeah. microprocessor. Yeah, it's a different market. It me. is. I mean, it's a great market as well. I mean, ARM is the, the, the ecosystem around ARM is what makes it so interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, there is such support. Uh, it's 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 very very. Uh, kind of interesting for, for, for Ada Core, um, who are used to perhaps using uh, less well-known pro yeah. uh, processors. But I think one thing that our customers will be very interested in doing is being able to port between, mm -hmm. use Ada, uh, and port between the various processors that we support, yeah. uh, such as PowerPC, um, and so on and so forth, mm -hmm. uh, and port their applications onto the ARM uh, architectures. Mm -hmm. So yes, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it does mean that we've had to, uh, you know, change a little bit our approach. Yeah. Uh, but 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 that's a good thing. That's yeah. a good thing. And will it go this way further in the future? Yes. Um, I mean, what we're looking at um, further down the line is extending um, our support for ARM-based products. Mm -hmm. So uh, Android, for example, is one platform that we'll be um, developing in the future. Yeah. Um, and that's come specifically for, 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 from a request uh, from a military company that yeah. is looking to tablets. use uh, tablets, yeah. uh, but in secure situations. Yeah. So that's very interesting interesting indeed. Um, we've also, uh, uh, continuing along the, uh, the security line, been uh, working on developing the new version of mm -hmm. the Spark programming language. Mm -hmm. So Spark is the subset of ADA, yep. uh, traditionally used in security critical uh, or very safety critical applications. Um, and of course, 
if you like, it's always a buy-off between expressiveness uh, and formality. Yeah. Uh, you know, there are lots of languages where you can be very, very expressive, um, but you're not sure if everything's going to work when it should work. Uh, with Spark, it was less expressive, but you mm. knew it would work. Yeah. Um, and what we've done is we've integrated some of the syntax from ADA 2012 um, that will allow you to integrate formal verification um, mm -hmm. with of, of, of certain contracts within your program yep. um, with testing. So you'll be able to practice unit testing and so on and so forth. So that's very attractive for a lot mm -hmm. of customers. Um, and it also means that formal methods which traditionally uh, would, you know, people thought maybe mathematicians and uh, mm -hmm. PhD students were the only people that implement formal methods. Mm -hmm. It makes it a lot more, uh, the use of them a lot more democratic, we hope, anyway. And that's that, that will be coming out in 2014. Okay, thank you very much, Chief. Thank you, Wolfgang.